Hey, Matt Russell here with another Photoshop tutorial. Today, I wanna to look at silk screening in Photoshop. So if you've ever wanted to make your own t-shirt or you've seen someone have a custom t-shirt somewhere else, and you're like, man, I wanna do that. Well, today, this is the tutorial for you. Let's check it out. All right, in Photoshop, I have an image, it's blank, it's a document, it's 14 inches by 14 inches, 300 DPI, uh, so let's jump into it. I found this really cool uh, hand solo image that I wanna open up, bring it in here, desktop, bam, okay. What I wanna do is first, let's get in our document, resize correctly, so that it fits well. There's nothing worse than having uh, your image too small and it's just horrible. So first off, we're gonna be working with a uh, one color screen, okay? So instead of having multiple colors and you have to do multiple screens, and I'll explain that in another video, but today I just wanna talk about one color on one t-shirt using one screen. So to do that, we need to get rid of the background first. So let's go ahead and use the magic wand. If you don't know what the magic wand does, it takes one color and erases it, or it selects it, then you can erase it. So um, select the wand, and this toggle you're gonna be using a million times. So let's say continuous. So when continuous is selected, if you select something, it'll select everything around it. Um, it won't allow any parts of the image to be deleted away when we want to delete it. So hit continuous. I'm gonna keep my tolerance low because if you go too high, check this out. Select continuous, it's gonna delete part of the arm off right there. We don't want that. So bring it back down low, and I hope you're a Star Wars fan as much as I am. So go ahead and select continuous, boom, looks good, nothing's cut out. I'm just gonna go ahead and cheap and dirty, hit delete. Uh, you can mask it out if you want, but I'm not gonna do that today. Um, also, something else I just noticed, eh, looks fine in there. It'll keep a detail for the shirt. All right, now here's a secret. This is the cheap and dirty way to make a silk screen fast, okay? That's what I wanna show you. So you have it selected, you have black and white here. If you don't have these already, click this button, it'll just reset it to absolute black, absolute white, and go up to filter, then filter gallery. It'll load for a second, zoom out, and underneath sketch, right here, you're gonna see torn edges and stamp. These are pretty much the two filters that I use to just real fast make a shirt. Okay, torn edges and stamp. They look, both look a little bit different, but they have the same outcome. Depending on what type of uh, graphic you have to start with, you might wanna go with one or the other, but this is gonna look way better in torn edges. So torn edges, and you just wanna uh, basically move it around until it gets, it looks good. For us, we're gonna wanna move it just so his face is recognizable and there's enough detail in the pants, the shirt. This looks really good right around here. So it looks like it's 14. Smooth this, I crank that all the way up because I love the hard edges. You might not like the hard edges, but I do. Like, I'll just give you an example. So smooth this kind of blurs it out a little bit. Um, I don't really like that. So I'm gonna just crank it all the way up. I like that hard, crisp look. Contrast, just leave it in the middle. Um, if you move it one way or the other, it's just gonna add dots. So it adds a bunch of polka dots, um, distorts it a little bit. So I just leave it right in the middle and I think that looks fantastic. Go ahead and press okay. And then we have our image. Okay, the next thing you have to do when uh, making a design for a shirt is you need white, uh, an image to be white if it's a darker shirt and the image to be black if it's a whiter shirt. Uh, and so one thing that some people do is they have their final image and they just inverse it so it turns black or white, but that doesn't necessarily work because you have highlights and shadows make up every image. And you want the highlights to show if it's a, a lighter design and you want the darkers to show if it's a darker design. So a lot of complicated talk, but <laughs> let me give you an example, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna separate out the whites from the black. So we have two images depending on the color shirt we're gonna print on. And you can just zone out during the whole complicated talk if you want to, but this is what it needs to come down to. So let's check off, check off continuous and let's select whites and hit control C 
and then control V to copy and paste the whites. Let's go back to our original image. Click on the blacks, control C, control V. So now, check this out. We have our whites on a layer, kind of hard to see, and we have our blacks on a layer, separated. All right, with that, let's get into, our image is done, but let's see what it looks like first digitally before we actually print this out and get it on a canvas and get it on a shirt, okay? So, I went to Google Images and just typed in blank uh, t-shirt and this is what it came up with. So I have this shirt, it's a black shirt, this shirt, it's a white shirt. Let's check this out, okay. So for our white shirt over here, let's go ahead and drag and drop. All you have to do is collect the pointer, click the image and drag it over. Remember dark image on a white shirt, white image on a dark shirt. Make it a little bit smaller, hit enter. Oh, looks pretty good, pretty snazzy. All right. Then let's get our white image, select the layer, select the pointer, and drag it over to this document. Resize, resize a little bit more. Hit enter, we'll zoom in. That looks fantastic. I'm gonna turn off that. Look at that. Let me show you also um, if maybe you're thinking, hey, what if I really like this, but I want that to show up as white? Um, let me show you what I mean by if you invert it, it just doesn't look right. Okay. Move that down. Move that down a little bit. Resize. Again, to get the correct portion resize, I just hold down Alt and Shift at the same time while I'm dragging to resize in place. Uh, that looks great, hit enter, take away the white. All right, so let's go ahead, let's change this one. I just double click, go to color overlay, let's change it to white. This is what a lot of people do with the images. You might be going for that style, but it's just weird because you're trying to make the um, shadows into highlights. So it's just not gonna turn out quite right. So let's go back to our original, fantastic. And let's check out the before image and the after image. Thanks for joining me today. This was Photoshop with Matt. Please subscribe down below, leave a comment, leave a like. If you're interested in seeing a specific video, let me know, I would love to hear from you. All right, talk to you later, bye.